I can't believe it's almost autumn already, but it is. So I'm gonna be talking about my essentials for the pumpkin spice season. And if you haven't started thinking about your autumn wardrobe yet, then don't worry, you've still got time. And hopefully this video helps you out a bit. If you like this video at any point, a like is always massively appreciated. And now that's all out the way, let's get into my fall essentials or autumn essentials, whatever you wanna call it, let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is knitwear. For me, when choosing a casual knitted jumper, I like something that's slightly relaxed, and I mean slightly relaxed, I don't want anything too baggy and not too long in the length. So just to give you an idea of what I mean. So for me, this is too long, this is too tight, this is too short, and this is just right. I hope you like the little rhyme there as well. But just to make things even more complicated, if I'm dressing up a little bit smarter, then I don't mind something a little bit more lightweight, a little bit thinner, and a little bit more fitted. For example, I really like the cable knit jumpers from Polo Ralph Lauren. I've got this one in this beautiful green colorway, and I find it really easy to dress up. And cardigans are another thing I've been getting back into recently. Again, I like to look for something with a slightly relaxed fit that's not too long. And this cardigan from Ami Paris ticks all the boxes for me, and I managed to pick it up for 40% off, so I was pretty chuffed with that. I'll leave a link to where I got mine in the description box along with everything else from this video, but if you don't want to spend that kind of money on a cardigan, and I don't blame you, then check out Cos. Cos does some really nice looking cardigans for a great price, but one thing I will say about Cos is their tops do tend to run big for me, so I would think about sizing down a full size. Next up, I want to talk about jackets, and I'm actually really liking wax jackets at the moment. Like the barber jackets, for example, I love the look they give off, they've got some really interesting cuts as well, and I've been thinking about picking one up for years now. Maybe this autumn is finally the time. I love the cord collars, I love the details on the jacket and on the zippers, and I love the colorways they come in. But I think a barber jacket is so versatile, and if you look after it, it's going to last you a lifetime. But maybe the barber style jacket is going to be very popular this year, because Uniqlo have just brought out their own kind of barber looking jacket, but for a quarter of the price. I've been seeing a lot of people wear it too, and I do think they look great, but for me, I've been wanting a barber jacket for so long now, the details are just a little bit nicer, and yeah, I think I'd go for the barber jacket. I also love the look of flight jackets. I think they're great looking jackets for the autumn and also a wool varsity jacket. I don't think you can go wrong with one of those. For me, when it comes to a varsity jacket, I like something really clean, really simple because it's easier to dress up that way. I've also got a little bit of an obsession with denim jackets at the moment as well. Personally, I wear denim jackets all year round. I can get away with it in the UK, but they do make the perfect transitional piece into the cooler weather. My denim jacket from Al Legacy was probably one of my favorite pickups of 2023. I love the colorway, I love the way it fits, and I can't wait to wear it more this autumn. Next up, I've got wool trousers. So when it comes to trousers, I generally like to go for a pleated pair because they give me more room in the thigh, and I like the smarter look they give off. And I recently picked up this pair from Acne Studios. They were more expensive, but you do get what you pay for. But if you don't want to spend a fortune, then I also shop at Cos and Arquette, and I do find their trousers really great for the price. And if you don't have Cos or Arquette where you are, or you want something even more affordable, then check out Uniqlo and Zara probably have some similar pairs. Next up we've got black denim. I'm wearing denim a lot more these days and my favorite pair of jeans are my Acme Studios 1996 jeans. Again they are on the more expensive side but for me if I know I'm going to wear something a lot and it's going to last and the fit is perfect for me then I don't mind spending a bit more. And I'm still waiting for Acme to drop the jet black version in this model again and when they do I'll be right on that. But for a more affordable option then Levi's 501s and 505s are going to be a great shower. You can pick up a vintage pair for about 20 or 30 pounds. They're really easy to get hold of, but uh, we all know about Levi's by now, so let's move on. Next up, we've got boots. Now, I will be doing a video all about boots on the channel soon, so stay tuned for that, but the pair that I've been rocking for years now is my pair from Veyron. Long-time viewers of the channel, you're probably sick of me talking about these because I bang on about them all the time, but I love them. But Doc Martens 14 1960s, another great option. They're timeless, they go with everything, 
and they're iconic. But if you're worried about the quality of docks, then check out the brand Solivaire. They used to make Doc Martens for Doc Martens back in the day when Doc Martens were better quality. They haven't changed the way they make the shoes, so they look exactly the same, and they're about £10 more. And if you're looking for a Chelsea boot, then Doc Martens and Solivaire do a lovely looking pair as well. You can also get an affordable pair from Vagabond, and another pair that's really popular right now. They are a little bit more expensive, and they are a bit more dressy, but it's the Camion boot from Our Legacy. The next item is an overshirt. Now overshirts, they're a great item to have in the wardrobe because you can wear them all year round. You can layer with them, you can wear them on their own, so they're a really versatile piece to have. And when it comes to bang for your buck, I think Arquette is probably my favorite place right now when it comes to overshirts. I've also seen some lovely looking overshirts from All Saints recently, but I'll link them all down in the description box. Next up, we've got corduroy shirts. Corduroy screams awesome to me. It's a little bit thicker, so it's gonna keep you warmer and I love a cord shirt. I'm actually looking for the perfect green cord shirt at the moment, but I haven't been able to find it yet, so maybe you can help me. So basically, I'm looking for one with the fit of this John Elliott shirt. I love the shorter length, and I love the cut of it, but the color of this polo Ralph Lauren shirt. I also really love that collar on the Ralph Lauren shirt. The John Elliott shirt, there's no doubt about it, the color is beautiful on that as well, and I definitely wear it, but I don't want to spend 300 pounds on a cord shirt. I love everything about the Ralph Lauren shirt, but the length looks slightly too long for me, so the search continues. Ralph also do this one, and the cut is perfect on it, but the price isn't perfect, it's £300 again, and the green isn't quite the right shade of green. The only one I've seen that comes close is this one from Abercrombie, but Abercrombie can be a little bit hit or miss for me, so I'm not too sure about it. So if you do happen to know one with the exact fit and the exact colour that I'm looking for, with that collar preferably as well, then please do let me know in the comments. The next item we've got is an overcoat. Now I did have a little bit of a break from overcoats last winter, but I'm really looking forward to wearing them again this winter. Sometimes you just need a little bit of time away from an item to appreciate it again. But what I look for with an overcoat is something that I can layer underneath of and something that comes down below my knee. I've got a few that I love wearing, like this one from a JW Anderson and Uniqlo collaboration. This one's about five or six years old now, so you can't get it, unfortunately, but I'll link something similar in the description box. And the other one that I really like is this one from A Day's March. This is about three or four years old, but they still sell it, so I will be able to find that one. If you want something a little bit more affordable, then check out the Belmacan coat from Uniqlo. They bring this coat out every year, so it must do well for them. I've heard good things about it. And also, I really like the look of this car coat from Arquette. It's made from cotton rather than wool, so it is going to be more lightweight, but it will make the perfect layering piece. So the next item is a hoodie. A decent hoodie is such a useful item to have in the cooler weather. You can wear them on their own, and they're perfect for layering with. But I have three hoodies that I've currently got that I can highly recommend. The first one is the most expensive one by quite a bit, and it's from Ami Paris. The quality on this one is incredible, and it's really heavyweight. But on the downside, because it is so heavyweight, it is a little bit stiffer. So if you do prefer a softer hoodie, then this might not be the one for you. And the next one I've got is this one from Picante. Now for me, the weight and the fit of this one is absolutely spot on. I love the way it looks on me. The quality isn't quite as good as the Ami Paris hoodie, but then the price reflects that, and it's still great quality. And another great hoodie and a more affordable hoodie is the Uniqlo Basic Hoodie. I've had mine for probably about five or six years now, I still wear it and it's the most comfortable out of all three of these hoodies, but the fit and the quality is not as good. Now, I do still wear all of these hoodies and I love all three of them, but if I could only have one, I'd probably go for the Picante hoodie. Next, we've got to talk about fragrance. So when it comes to autumn and winter, I generally go for fragrances that are sweet, spicy, or woody, or all three. One of my absolute favorites is Jazz Club from Mason Margiela, and I'll be wearing this a lot this autumn. It's really fairly priced in my opinion, it's delicious, and I get a lot of compliments when I wear it, which is always nice. And another one I'd highly recommend is Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. It is more expensive, but a decent fragrance is worth the extra money in my opinion. It complements your outfit nicely. Please drop the video a like if you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you later.